Hey guys, Philippe here. So yesterday I released for you a, um, I'm just going to move this out of the way quickly. I released for you a, a tutorial, not a tutorial, actually a source code to an ESP, aimbot and a bunch of other things. So what I'm doing today is I'm doing, I'm releasing a simpler version of that with a different method that I'd like you to know about. Now, I'm going to go over some of the advantages and disadvantages of using this method uh, compared to the other one. Now, if you haven't seen that previous video before, there's a link for you in the description, which you should check out definitely. Um, as there, I'll show you the um, the hack in action. Now, that one had, like I said, um, I had uh, an ESP, uh, which is the box you see around the player, snap line, which has the, um, those lines that look like elastics. They're really cool. Um, health bar, ESP, uh, name ESP, distance ESP, and I think it had one or two more things. Now, that one used a method which is known as a direct X hook and on this one we're going to use a different method which is external and much more evasive to that one so I'll go over the advantages in a second so whilst we're waiting I'm just going to load up um, Modern Warfare so just making sure Fraps work, this is my fourth uh, time attempting this because Fraps keeps uh, trying to record my other screen uh, which screws me over quite a bit okay so here we are I'm just going to put it in bots mode So. Like I said, this is an external method of doing things. Start a new game. So I'm going to stick these on maximum. And uh, definitely make sure, if you haven't checked out that video, to check it out because I'm only going to show you a small demonstration. Because the only thing that changes between that method and this one uh, is the way that the graphics are drawn, the way our ESP is draw, uh, drawn, etc. Okay, so here I am, just going to spawn a bot to help me do what I got to do. As usual, this works uh, and online exactly the same. Now, something I forgot to mention in my other video, I'm going to go over quickly. Um, a lot of people are asking me, how do I put this into CSS, um, you know, APB, any game like that. Now, you have to get your own memory addresses. That's literally all you have to do. If you're going to get your memory addresses, you'll be able to swap them out from my source code uh, into uh, whichever addresses you have on your game. Now, if you if you're not very comfortable, if you haven't created your own simple trainer, if you haven't um, created a couple of simple hacks, you probably will struggle with this. So I recommend you check out my tutorials uh, and learn from those because um, I haven't, I didn't create my first name bot until like a year and a bit into hacking. So you can't expect to do things like that very easily because you won't understand most of it unless you're very good or very clever, which in my case, I'm not that clever, but I know some people pick up a bit faster. now. Uh, so if you're like me, you're better off going through the tutorials. Um, so some advantages of this method. So I'm going to just run it here. So the first thing is, when you're dealing with the DirectX hook, you need to run it just before the game, so it injects into the uh, DirectX as the game's starting. So with this one here, it's different. So I'll run it. That's the first thing you see right there. As you can see, this is flickering a lot. Now, uh, I'll, get on, I'll get on with the disadvantages in a second. So it's external, which means... Uh, it's very evasive, and you get away with using this in quite a few games with being, without being detected. Because all we do uh, is read, um, process. We, all we call is the function read process memory, which allows us to read a certain amount of memory in the game, and then do things with it. So we're just checking distances of the player, all that, and then drawing our ESP based on that. So I'm just going to move around a little bit so you can have a look at how it works. But yeah, that's all we do pretty much. So as you can see, the snap line grabs from me all the way to the player and that's how it works now what you see here um, and, and the beauty of this is uh, with my hook I know a lot of you guys can't use it uh, because you have a different operating system or anything like that so with this you can work you can do it on Windows XP Windows Vista 7 on most operating systems so it should work alright um, I haven't tested it personally on XP but I've heard a lot of people say it works fine because this is a well known method of drawing uh, which was around I think since C, the C language so it, you know, it's a pretty good method. So disadvantages are, uh, obviously another advantage is this is much simpler than our other method, I forgot to mention that one. Disadvantages we have, this is much slower than DirectX drawing method, that's the first thing here. Um, and what you see on my screen right now is you see it flashing but that's because I'm recording fraps and I'm only getting about 30 frames per second and that's all it's happening um, when I'm running this by myself I the, it flickers but it flickers so quickly that I won't notice it so if you have a half decent PC then you won't you won't need to worry about this um, because 
if your PC is fairly fast, then you won't see any flickering. You'll just be like uh, using your hack and it'll run fine. You won't. Now, if you have a, a slow PC, maybe a single core or a w really weak dual core, then you'll probably have flickering quite a bit during your thingy. But that's the price you have to to pay for a hack like this because it's you know drawing externally and it's a very cool thing compared to um, hooking in DirectX. Now. Um, uh, another thing is uh, this won't work the ESP won't work in full screen now the hack the only thing that will work from the hack that I created here is the aimbot in full screen because that doesn't need to draw anything um, so excuse me so ESP won't work in full screen so you know if you're doing this in full screen if you want to play a game full screen all you have to do is uh, make the window borderless which you can do in a lot of games and just stretch the resolution out obviously if you've got weaker end PCs then you probably won't be able to do that so you'll have to stick with um, uh, windowed mode so that's a big disadvantage right there you have to run the game in windowed mode that's a fact right there unless you just want to use the aimbot and this is fairly CPU intensive once again um, you know this does give you a bit of an impact on your on your uh, CPU and um, you know as long as you don't have two orders of a computer you shouldn't have troubles with it if you try this and you see it flickering a lot then odds are uh, you know try and kill some background applications and stuff but odds are is your PC is a bit slow or you've got some sort of bug here or there um, uh, I think those are the advantages and disadvantages so as you can see here just like my previous hack um, you've got um, I've taken out some of the uh, more in-depth drawings like the health bar and now I just have the number which works alright um, what else is there to mention so for any anyone using my previous method um, that's what I recommend this so if that method wasn't working for you use this one or even if that was working for you try this one because um, it's very evasive and like I said I know quite a few people they're using this for Modern Warfare 3 and they've been try, uh, doing this for about three months four months without being detected public hacks etc and you don't get detected why because this only uses one function which is read process memory All right it's very simple it's um, a lot of you've probably used it before and it doesn't need any you know injection none of that stuff which is why it's such a good thing um, if you can handle it obviously on your PC um, I'm sure some of you might be able to do some tweaks to reduce the flickering as well which um, should be good to know about um, something I mentioned I believe I might have mentioned this already actually anyone yeah I have mentioned it about the no experience thing uh, if you guys aren't very experienced you need to you know do some earlier hacks first I don't mean to put you down in any way I'm just saying because um, I tried many times to do an aimbot do an ESP and I failed over and over again and I wasn't able to complete a single hack because I didn't know half of the stuff that was necessary um, so uh, I think that's uh, yeah, so this will work on most games as long as you can get the memory addresses. That part is up to you. Um, and you can check some of my cheat engine tutorials. They might help you with that. Um, and another thing I want to cover is... I think that's all I need on my notes here. Another thing I want to cover... I'm just going to spawn a guy or two. Now, this will keep... I'll just spawn one, just to let you have a look. So, you, as you can see here, you got the snap line going from one to the other. Um, and it's actually handling, handling it quite well. Uh, considering, so as you can see, I'm going to shoot him once. Actually, he's probably going to kill me. He got a shotgun. Yeah, he's done. So as you can see, he got killed. Um, but what was I going to mention? Oh, there he is again. So just you can see. Uh, if you want a more in-depth one, obviously check out my other one. That's got a few more features, which I'm sure you'd like. Um, and I think that is it. I had something to mention again. I had started playing like an idiot. I forgot what it was. Um, quick drink and think about it all right I remembered uh, I won't be making tutorials for a little while now uh, because um, a lot of you guys know that I'm going back to uni so I won't be making I, I say that in every video almost I listen to myself and I'm sick of hearing myself say that but I have to tell you guys because some of you new guys don't know this so I've got to go back to uni um, but I will try and find some time I've got some excellent ideas for tutorials that which I'm sure you guys will appreciate um, you know things that haven't been done before. I really want to, you know, try those out. You better not kill me. Um, I really want to try those out. I've got some really good ideas, um, which I I know, you know, a lot of you will find helpful because um, it's things that I would have found helpful when I was learning hacking. Well, I still am, I guess. Um, so don't expect any videos for a while. I might release a couple. I'll still be re releasing hacks every now and then. 
Uh, I've got a couple in mind. Uh, people have asked me. Um, I will be doing those. I may release some source code here and there as well. I'm not going to stop doing that. Uh, but this ESP, etc., expect a tutorial on this at some point. All right, I can't guarantee you when, um, but at some point you can expect a tutorial. All right. Um, so I hope you guys bear with me uh, whilst I am a, a little bit away. I'll still be answering questions and all that. So if you got any questions, uh, ask them in my forum because uh, guidedhacking.com because um, YouTube just screws up all my PMs and all that stuff, um, and I don't I never get told when I've got new messages, etc. Um, but yeah, if you got any messages, post them there, post a thread or whatever, and then um, we can, you know, I can help you out as long as some people, as well as some people, sorry, we can all, because um, if I get all the messages to my inbox, then, um, you know, I'm going to spend all day replying. If you make a thread, then other people, which are quite good, and uh, they can help you as well. Um, I think I've rambled way too much. Uh, hopefully, you guys can test this out for yourselves. Let me know how it goes. Um, if you have any problems, let me know. Uh, yeah, so check on the description. There should be a link to the post on my forum where you can download this. Um, and uh, yeah, hope this works out for you. Uh, let me know. Any problems, as usual, just post them there. Um, I'll see you guys later.